Welcome to Magic Horizons. In these video instructions, we will show you how to use the VR glasses and the Magic Horizons VR software. Turn on the Easy Mobile using the on off switch on the bottom of the glasses. Press the on off switch until the blue LED lights up. If you wear distance glasses and they fit under the VR glasses, you should keep them on to enable you to see sharper. Put on the VR glasses from front to back. If necessary, open the Velcro fasteners on the side and tighten them again for the best fit. It's important to push the VR glasses slightly up and down with both hands after putting them on in order to see as sharp as possible. The Easy Mobile has one controller. Pressing the home button for a long time will connect the VR glasses after they have been turned on. If the viewing direction has changed or the green laser beam has shifted or is no longer visible, you can recenter everything by pressing and holding the home button. To start a program or VR application, point the laser beam at it and press the trigger button with your index finger. On the premium mobile, the on-off switch is on the top of the headset. Press the on-off switch until the blue LED lights up. Then loosen the bracket with the rear screw and fold it up. Put on the VR glasses from front to back. Then, after putting them on, fold down the bracket and tighten the rear screw again for the best fit. The Premium Mobile has two controllers for your left and right hands. A long press on both home buttons will connect the VR glasses after they have been turned on. When putting the VR glasses on someone else, make sure that you're both looking in the same direction when centering the VR glasses with the home button. The other person will then also be looking in the front direction. Proceed as follows to remove the VR glasses, especially if you wear distance glasses underneath. If you were using headphones, take them off first. With the Easy Mobile, pull the rear battery pack up over your head. Then take off the VR glasses straight forward. With the Premium Mobile, first open the bracket with the rear screw. Then fold up the bracket and remove the VR glasses straight forward. After turning on the VR glasses, the Magic Horizons software starts automatically. The first thing you see is the main menu. Here you can choose between playlists, the training plan and single application. Detailed information on the three categories is available in the enclosed guide. Play Intro will give you brief audio instructions in the main menu and each sub-menu. Pressing it again stops the audio instructions. In the main menu, you can set the language, your sitting or lying position to within one degree, and the volume. You can see the charging status of the VR glasses on the left. There is also the Wi-Fi symbol if you want to control the VR glasses remotely from a tablet, as well as the connection symbol for the tablet. Alternatively, on the Easy Mobile, you can also change the volume on the right side of the controller. On the Easy Mobile and Premium Mobile, you can adjust the basic volume at the bottom of the VR glasses. There are two ways to return to the main menu. 1. Press the Back to Main Menu door symbol with your index finger. 2. Press the Back button on the Easy Mobile controller to go up one level to the main menu. 
On the premium mobile, press the B or Y button on the controller to do this. When in the main menu, holding the controllers close to your face allows you to see the button labels. The VR glasses do not have to be turned off during breaks. They go into sleep mode a short time after you take them off. When you use the VR glasses again, the software starts up immediately. For longer breaks, press and hold the home button on the controller for approximately two seconds. In the playlist's main menu, there are two options to choose from. On the left, the preset playlists with default lists. On the right, the user playlists you can create yourself. Once you've selected a playlist, a play symbol appears in front of you. You start the playlist by looking at the play symbol until the green circle closes. This feature also lets you select a playlist and then hand the VR glasses to someone else. The person will then not require a controller and can start the selected playlist by gazing at the play symbol in the VR glasses. Within a playlist, you can skip to the next VR application by pressing the trigger button on the controller. In the User Playlists menu, press Create Playlist to create your own playlist. You can select single applications from the VR applications shown in front of you. A green dot appears at the top right of each application. Press the same application again to deselect it. You will see a list of your selected applications in the display on the right. You can move them in order. Please note, at the end, you have to save your own playlist in the display on the right by selecting Save Playlist. On the Easy Mobile, close a playlist by pressing the Back button on the controller. On the Premium Mobile, close the playlist by pressing B or Y. In the main playlist menu, you can start, edit and delete user playlists. To access the training plan, press on Training Plan. Start an individual session by pointing the green laser beam of the controller at it and pressing the trigger button with your index finger. On the Easy Mobile, end the training session by pressing the back button on the controller. On the Premium Mobile, close the training session by pressing B or Y. The training sessions are always grouped into units of 10. Press on Next Page on the right to go to the next unit of 10 and on Previous Page on the left to go to the previous unit of 10. Each training session lasts between 10 and 15 minutes. We recommend completing the training plan in the intended sequence for optimum results. Of course, you can repeat individual training sessions that you find especially helpful. It's important to complete each training session in one go to experience its optimum effects. The Single Application menu lets you select single applications that are particularly good for you. The single applications are arranged in groups Nature, Binaural Audio, Meditations and Fantasy Trips. When a single application is running, you can open the sub-menu in the Easy Mobile by pressing the Trigger button. In the menu, select the Audio Mix, Loop, Play, Pause and Volume by pressing the Trigger button. Press the X symbol to close the single application. Alternatively, by pressing your index finger, you can select the X symbol for Close. 
and the M symbol for menu hovering above the application. The submenu closes after a short time when the laser beam is no longer pointing at it. When a single application is running, you can open the submenu in the premium mobile by pressing the A button on the right controller or the X button on the left controller. Alternatively, by pressing your index finger, you can select the X symbol for close or the M symbol for menu hovering above the application. On the premium mobile, there is also an interactive category. There, the X and M symbols can also be located at the bottom. Each interactive application contains brief instructions. Our VR glasses are only to be used while sitting or lying with sufficient free space around you. The lenses must not be exposed to direct sunlight or very bright sources of light as otherwise the displays may be damaged and the warranty will be void. Clean the VR glasses thoroughly only with suitable agents. Clean the lenses only with a dry microfiber cloth as they may otherwise be easily scratched. The controller requires two 1.5 volt batteries. Open the battery cover and replace the batteries as needed. VR glasses battery life is approximately three hours. We recommend charging the VR glasses in good time. The VR glasses are fully charged when the LED lights up solid green. If the LED flashes red after the VR glasses are turned on, they must first be charged. The VR glasses can be used indefinitely with the charger and a long charging cable. If the VR glasses or the VR software malfunction, turn off the headset and turn it on again. We recommend that you also use the included headphones for an immersive listening experience. It's best to plug in the headphones before putting on the VR glasses. Pay attention to a moderate volume. Please note our terms of use, in particular the health and hygiene information on our website. Thank you, your Magic Horizons team.